Beckoff Twin Cat for new users. So let's get started and go download the software. We're going to go to Beckoff.com and once we get there on the left side there are some menu options and we're going to expand down on TwinCat and you will then see an option for download TwinCat and then to the right let's quick click download TwinCat now you see here it's going to ask for all of your information you are required to put that in including a valid email address once you put that in you click the registration button and you should shortly receive an email giving you a link to download after you received your email and downloaded the file, let's run that file and begin the installation. Now we're going to just click next for default. I go through what it has to do to unpack the file. And now of course I want to select your language and it goes a little bit more. Go next, accept the license, and you have to put in a user and company name, and you'll see here it wants a serial number. Let's leave that serial number blank for now, because we're going to use a trial software. Okay, we're going to leave it as default. We're going to do the TwinCat PLC, and you see right here we're saying a 30-day demo. Okay, I'm going to remove the GDS and um, EDS files, because those are only for DeviceNet and Profibus, which we're not going to use for this tutorial and continue to accept the defaults and it will do the installation and once the installation is done it will require you to restart the computer so go ahead and do that and once you're back reboot it we will go to the next step okay let's begin writing the program and configuring the system now the first thing you'll see there's a twin cat icon down by your clock click that and go to PLC control this is where we're going to actually write the program. When it starts up, you see it comes up with a sample program. So we're going to do a file new. We want PC or CX. And we're going to select LD for ladder. We're going to do our first program in ladder. Okay, so now the very first step, I'm going to create some variables. TwinCat is tag based. So we're going to manually, I'm doing this manually. You can do a table if you want. So let's, um, what I'm typing, I'm creating variables and declaring an address. Now these addresses are just addresses I've made up to use and it, you need to do that whenever you're going to link physical I.O. and in order to run twin you have to have what's considered a sync master which is at least one physical I.O. so that's why I'm, I'm just going to declare two inputs and two outputs So once that's done, let's click down on our first rung, insert a normally open contact, and click on the question marks, and click F2. F2 is a shortcut, very handy shortcut. The same thing with the coil, click on the question marks, hit F2, select an output, and now let's save our file. I'm going to put mine in my document so I know where to get to it. I'm going to give it the name Quick Start, and then now let's build it. When we build it, it creates a full table, which is needed for the system manager. So now go back down by the clock to the little icon and start up system manager. Okay, so now let's do a new, new project. And the first thing we want to do after we do a new is append a PLC project by right-clicking PLC configuration. So let's browse to where we saved the PLC program and you will find the TPY file created when we did a build. And you can see it now knows the variables that we define addresses for. So now let's um, go down and add some hardware. TwinCat will let you use your parallel port fortunately so you do not actually need any hardware. So I'm going to right click and add a new device and you see under miscellaneous I'm going to pick parallel port and now you can see it will give me options of using my pins on my parallel port as physical I.O. So now I'm going to right click on my N1 variable change link and pick input 0 link it to that. Now I'm going to show you, you can also come over here and use the button here which does the same thing and I'm going to link that one to input 1. I'm going to do the same thing with the outputs, link those outputs And once that's done, 
you can kind of quickly see I've got little shortcut arrows showing that they're linked. Now let's save the project, which is the system manager file. We'll give mine the name, save it in my documents also. So now we've linked that to hardware, so we're going to generate mappings. We're going to check it, verify everything, and then I'm going to activate my configuration. So now I'm basically saying the addresses I defined in my PLC program are going to be linked to physical I.O. and that's what the mapping is for. So now when I restart it, you see down in the bottom is in run mode, which is the system, not the PLC. So now I'm going to go back to PLC control, log in, and it asked me to download the program. I said yes. So now I'm going to put the PLC in run mode. Actually running. Now I'm going to double click these contacts and do an F7, which is a shortcut for force. So I force it on, my output then is energized, and I can come back over to System Manager and get to the right one and look at the online tab and you see there my histogram shows that that output is actually on. Now if I go back and double click F7 to release the force, you look back over at the histogram and you see the output is turned off. And there you have it, you have written your very first TwinCat program.